are more corrupt. In fact, as Washington is known worldwide now today as a center of corruption. Turn over to 1 Kings. And in 1 Kings chapter 21. And it came to pass after these things that Naboth, the Jezreelite, had a vineyard, which was in Jezreel, heard by the palace of Ahab, hard by the palace of Ahab, the king of Samaria. And Ahab spake unto Naboth, saying, Give me thy vineyard, that I may have it for a garden of herbs, because it is near unto my house, and I will give thee for it a better vineyard than it. For if it seem good to thee, I will give thee the worth of it in money. And Naboth said to Ahab, The Lord forbid it me that I should give the inheritance of my fathers unto thee. And Ahab came into his house, and heavy and displeased because of the word which Naboth the Jezreelite had spoken to him. For he had said, I will not give thee the inheritance of my father. And he laid him down upon his bed and turned away his face, and he would eat no bread. But Jezebel, his wife, came to him and said unto him, Why is thy spirit so sad that thou eatest no bread? And it came to pass, I came unto her, because I spake unto Naboth the Jezreelite, and said unto him, Give me the vineyard for money, or else if I please thee, I will give thee another vineyard for it. And he answered, I will not give thee my vineyard. And Jezebel, his wife, said unto him, Dost thou now govern the kingdom of Israel? Arise! And he bread. Let thine heart be merry. I will give thee the vineyard of Naboth. <laughs> so she wrote a letter to Ahab's, wrote letter in Ahab's name, and sealed it with his seal, and sent the letters unto the elders and the nobles that were in the city, dwelling with Naboth. And she wrote in the letter, saying, Proclaim a fast, and set Naboth on high among the people. And he set two men, sons of Belial, before to bear witness against him, saying, Thou didst blaspheme God and the king. And they carry him out and stone him, that he may die. And the men of the city, even the elders and the nobles, who were, who were the inhabitants in the city, did as Jezebel had sent unto them. And it was written in the letters which he had sent unto them. They proclaimed a fast and set Naboth on high among the people. And there came in two men, children of Belial, and set before him, and, and the men of Belial witnessed against him, even against Naboth, in the presence of the people, saying, Naboth did blaspheme God and the king. And they carried him forth out of the city, and stoned him with stones, that he died. Mm. Then they said to Jezebel, saying, Naboth is stoned and dead. And it came to pass when Jezebel heard that Naboth was stoned and was dead, that Jezebel said to Ahab, Arise and take possession of the vineyard of Naboth, the Jezreelite, which he refused to give thee for money, for Naboth is not alive, but is dead. And it came to pass that when Ahab heard that Naboth was dead, and Ahab rose up to go down into the vineyard of Naboth, the Jezreelite, to take possession of it. Well, mm, wickedness. Folks. Because he refused to give it to Ahab. As the body count keeps rising, I understand that somebody says it's up to six now, uh, of those that could expose the crime syndicate of Obama and Bill and Hillary Clinton, uh, we see that uh, six have met the fate of Naboth. Uh, these words of King Solomon come into play. There's nothing new under the sun. As Ahab and Jezebel had the false prophets of Belial to cover for their lies and bribery and blackmail and murder, and Obama and the Clinton <coughs> corrupted news media, corrupted judicial system, uh, and a degenerate, malicious collective, better known as the DNC, to cover for their lies, their threats, their intimidations, their blackmail, their bribery, and their murder. With few exceptions, the federal judiciary has been reduced to nothing less than a nationwide chain of whorehouses. And we see that if we go to Hosea chapter 4. And in Hosea chapter 4, <coughs> how much time do I have left, John? Two minutes. Hosea chapter 4 we read, 
Hear the word of the Lord, you children of Israel, for the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Now, let's just change that to one word for America today. But it applies both to America, to Israel, to England, to France. <coughs> because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. By swearing, and lying, and killing, and stealing, and committing adultery, they break out and blood touches blood. Listen. Our sewers in America have run red from coast to coast with the blood of our unborn babies. Mm. Do you understand? God is immutable. He always does what He says. He always will judge sin. Folks. Therefore shall the land mourn, and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field, with the fowls of heaven, yes, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. What's He telling you? He's telling you that the environment suffers not because of SUVs, okay, mm -hmm. or air conditioners. The environment suffers because of man's sin. Amen. I'm going to stop right there and close for the radio audience. We've been coming to you this morning from Doers of the Word Baptist Church at 14781 Sperry Road, Newberry, Ohio. And our zip code is 44065. Our phone number is 440-338-1367. I'm Pastor Ernie Sanders, and I would like to tell you that you've been listening to us this morning on the Liberty Works Radio Network, 104.3 FM, the Eagle in Tampa, Ocala. And we have to decide from time to time on which stations that we can stay on and which stations that we have to drop. We would ha hate to have to drop uh, this radio program, but we will. Uh, unless I hear from some people out there who listen to us. Now, you can listen to this radio program at 2 a.m., 8 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Time uh, every Sunday. So, I hope to hear from you so that you can continue to hear from us. And if we don't, well then, we'll just take it that uh, you no longer want to hear from us. Let no man strive nor reprove another, for the people are as they that strive with their priests. Therefore thou shalt fall in the day, and the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. The mother is their country, their nation. He's talking about people. He sends, he sent them uh, prophets and priests, and they said, we don't want your message. We don't want to hear that. We want to hear what God's going to do for us. And don't, don't be talking about this sin thing. We don't want to hear that. This is why you have the World National Council of Churches. Uh, they'll, they'll preach to you whatever you want to hear. Unless, unless it's in the Bible. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou should be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of my God, I will also forget thy children. That's exactly what's happened to the children in America today. He's forgotten them. Mm. Common Core hasn't. As they were increased, so they sinned against me, therefore I will change their glory into shame. They eat up the sin of my people, they set their heart on their iniquity. You know what it means to eat up the sin of the people? Ooh. It's these apostate preachers that eat up, they live, they prosper. Yep. Like Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson, off the sin of their people. Yep, crippled adults. Off the, they prosper off the sin of Eddie their people. <laughs> and there should be like people, like priests, and I will punish them for their ways and reward them for their doing. He's telling them he's going to send them preachers and pastors <laughs> that are every bit as corrupt as them. For they shall eat and not have enough. They shall commit whoredom. And shall not increase because they have left off to take heed to the Lord. Whoredom and wine and new wine take away the heart. My people ask counsel at their stock. And their staff proclaimeth unto them. For the spirit of whoredoms hath caused them to err. And they have gone a whoring from under their God. Now he's speaking, he's preaching here to the men who are the leaders. They sacrifice upon the tops of the mountains and burn incense upon the hills and under oaks and poplars, elms, because the shadows thereof is good. Therefore, your daughters shall commit whoredom, and your spouses shall commit adultery. That's both men and women. I will not punish your daughters when they commit whoredom, 
You think we have a problem with that in America today with our young women? Mm -hmm. Nor your spouses when they commit adultery, for themselves are separated with whores, and they sacrifice with harlots. Therefore the people that doeth not understand shall fall. Though thou, Israel, play the harlot, yet let not Judah offend, and the people not yet go into Gilgal, neither go you up into Bethlehem, nor swear the Lord liveth. For Israel slideth back as a back, black, backslidden heifer. Now the Lord will feed them as a lamb in a large place. Ephraim is joined to idols. Let him alone. Their drink is sour, and they have committed whoredom continually. Her rulers, the shame, do love. Give ye the wind that bound her up in her wings, and they shall be ashamed because of their sacrifices. <laughs> Folks, what I'm reading is from the very same God judged Israel in that day is, is, is going to judge America. But remember, mm -hmm. the book of remembrance for those of us that have stayed with him, those of us that have not left away, there's that book of remembrance that your name will be written in. And I want to close by going to Psalm chapter 2. And in Psalm chapter 2, why do the heathen rage? And the people imagine the vain thing. Well, you know, last night they had another another one of their big, uh, the Black Lives Matter. You know, only about half of those people out there marching are black. The other are white communists. You got a lot of white communists out there uh, with the black, uh, a lot of black uh, Panthers and that. Okay, uh, but they rioted last night, tried to burn Milwaukee down. Just like in Ferguson and Baltimore and Chicago, the heathen rage. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a van? Well, the, the heathen are raging all over America today, a vain thing. The kings of the earth set themselves, and rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. He's got them in derision right now. Yep. They're clueless. They've got no idea what they're doing. Uh, these people riot in these cities, and they burn down their own homes. Yeah. yeah. And then they have no right. place to live. <laughs> and so then they blame it on, on somebody else. Oh, wow. Well. Then shall he speak to them in his wrath and vex them with his sword his pleasure. Yet have I set my king upon the holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree the Lord has said unto me, Thou art my son this day, have I begotten thee? Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. That's going to happen, folks. The heathen are in for a very, very rude awakening. Be wise now, therefore, O you kings, be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry, and you perish from the way, and his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Amen. Amen. Okay. And with that, we're going to take up an offering. Big Jim, would you like to ask a blessing over the offering? All right. Very, very loudly. Okay. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this fellowship, and we pray that you take this service yes. and use it to honor your name. Lord, we just commit it unto thee. And we thank you for all that you have given to us. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Big Jim. amen. Very good. Well, they're taking up an offering, thanks of words of praise. Uh, we